The issue of robocalls is again generating outrage in Parliament. This time it has nothing to do with directing voters to improper polling stations. These latest calls were made last week, and the automated voice told residents of Saskatchewan they should be upset about changes to their electoral boundaries. At first it was unclear who was behind the calls, but as Mike LeCouture reports, the Conservatives are now admitting it was them. Last week, phones were ringing across Saskatchewan with robocalls telling people about the contentious redrawing of federal riding boundaries. But those calls were commissioned by the Conservative Party. The problem? The recorded message didn't say it was from the Tories. Somebody screwed up, I guess, frankly. Now, the Conservatives admit they made a mistake, blaming it on an internal miscommunication. When they were writing the script or reading the calls or giving it to the, the phoners, uh, that they just didn't put the identification portion on it, and as simple as that. But it's not so simple, according to opposition parties, especially since the Conservatives took Liberal Frank Valeria to task for a similar mistake in the last election. They ought to have been far more alert to those rules after it happened to me, uh, and uh, I, expect, I expected, frankly, uh, for them to not have done this kind of thing. The Liberals say these robocalls were not only fraudulent, they were also dirty. It's nasty and misleading. Uh, it appears to interfere with uh, a democratic independent procedure for the establishment of electoral boundaries, uh, and it was anonymous. Now, the Conservative Party had to deal with the Pierre Poutine robocalls that misled Guelph voters about where they should cast ballots in the last election. And today, Tories faced another barrage of angry questions. Conservative Party officials lied to Canadians to try to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. Who will the Prime Minister hold accountable for this fraud? The Prime Minister rejected the accusation, saying his party was simply pointing out the flaws in how Saskatchewan's riding boundaries are being redrawn. In Saskatchewan, overwhelming opposition to the particular proposals, but we are simply operating within the process as it exists, and indeed, it encourages all actors to do. The Liberals have filed a complaint with the CRTC about the robocalls in Saskatchewan, and if found guilty, the federal body could force the Conservatives to pay a fine. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.